Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you are looking in the background, this is the awesome design that Dragon Girl allowed me to check out the other day, and I'm showing it to you again today because I showed that shout out to my students, and then I allowed my students to get into the spring bug that I created that used some of the similar techniques before Lava Girl took hers to the crazy level she ended with. My friends, one of the kids made something awesome, and I wanted to share it with you. So this is the fun-filled spring bug. Now I like this little dude because he uses springs for the legs, which are super cool, and then a technique to duplicate and nudge to create the body parts. And then this student, Noah, took the dragon theme and created his own scribble dragon wings, a scribble dragon tail, and then also before class ended, added the cool toes using spheres on his dragon. Lastly, he also made a Scribble Dragon face. Currently, I'm thinking that Noah might be the king of Scribble. So I really dug how this turned out, and I mentioned to Noah that if he shared it with me using the cool Send To and Share, I mentioned I would also show a cool thing that you can do if you design something awesome like this. So my friends, let's get cracking. The trick is pretty simple, but it can also be totally powerful. Grab your entire design, yank it up in the air. Notice I moved it up 87. I'm gonna change that to 200. So it's way above the rest of the project. Then hold shift and nudge so that you've got a white background behind you. Find the exact angle for a future picture that you're gonna create. Friends, once you've got your design posed, we need a picture and we're gonna do that using the send to. Simply click that save button. Yours may save automatically. Mine is going to the downloads and I'm going to hit save so that it's ready to be used. We're going to use it in a tool called Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R.com and we're using Pixlr X. It is totally free but it has ads. We're going to choose create new and we want a full HD design. I'm going to call it dragon because it's a dragon bug and hit create. It loads with an empty layer, and we are going to add a cool thing in the background. I'm going to choose a castle. You can find it in the stock images by just typing castle. After a search, you'll see several cool ones pop up. Find one that you think is going to be awesome. I am going to use this one right here, and I'm going to add it to the current design. When it arrives, you can see it's quite large, quite awesome, and if you look over here, we've got an empty layer that we can throw away by hitting the trash can. Now we need to add our awesome dragon. We're going to do that by clicking Add Image, and when we hit Add Image, we're going to choose Browse. We want the image that we took a moment ago. Mine, of course, was Spring Bug, and I'm going to add it to the current design. You'll notice it is above our castle. We're going to go to the cut tool and we're going to cut it out. We're going to start with a shape in keep mode and we're going to cut the white part with just a dragon. After that, we're going to use the magic cutout and we're going to remove all of the white. I'm going to bump up the tolerance and pop. All of a sudden, our dragon is floating. We can close that window, click on our dragon with the move tool, put it wherever we want and stretch it to whatever size we want. I want to make it just a little bit more awesome by adding another image. This time under stock, I'm going to type fire because it would be pretty sweet if our dragon could breathe fire. As I look through the fire, I'm going to play with this one right here and I'll show you why. When I hit add current, see all that black? That is handy dandy and you can see also that the image is quite large. I'm going to shrink it down, put it up close to where our dragon's mouth would be, and I'm going to erase that black the same way we cut out our dragon. I am going to use magic cutout, a little bit more power, remove all the black, and check it out. There is the flames for our dragon. I can rotate that to whatever angle I like. I can shrink it. I can nudge it. I can put it so that it looks like it is coming from our awesome dragon as it's flying around the castle. Notice I just switched layers to go to the dragon and I'm going to move it a little bit back here 
So now I can bring my flames up to where I want them to be. I'm gonna add some fun text to our design real quick as well. When you click the text tool, click add new and then find a fun phrase to type. Staying with the dragon theme, I'm gonna put breathe fire into your designs. And then I'm gonna pick a fun font. I'm gonna go down here and use the Adios Amigos, but I'm gonna make it larger. So you can just slide that till it fits the way you want. I'm gonna pick a different color. I want a bright orange. You can slide these whichever way you want to adjust them as you find different colors. I am gonna go down and I'm gonna make the letters a little further apart. I don't want a background, I do want an outline. I want my outline to be in the reddish area, so notice I move over to these reds. I'm going to move it over to these reds, but I also want that outline to be a lot smaller. So there's size one. I like that, but I am going to add a shadow. I'm going to make my shadow kind of a dark black. I'm going to make it a little more opaque so it's easier to see. And then you can adjust your position so the shadow shows up the way that you want. If I zoom in, you can see that is pretty nifty. If we go back to move, I can arrange that so it shows up exactly where I want. Once you've created your awesome composition, you can simply hit save, give it a name that you want. I'm gonna call mine Dragon MDH. I like to make PNGs, and when you hit download, it will save to your PC. I'm gonna put mine in that downloads folder and call it done. Wrapping up, friends, I still want to thank Dragon Girl for sharing her cool skills and then Noah for taking his project to a cool place so that we could use it in this creation. Remember, friends, if you ever make something awesome, you can also use the invite tool and send a link to me so I can check out your cool work as well. Friends, I hope you find tons of ways to use this cool technique with all your Tinkercad creations. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, Add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.